Amen. I don't know how we were supposed to praise God in 20 seconds, Pastor. But uh, you set me up for this. This is what I'm talking about. So I am not going to be before you long. I want some. Uh, I want to do some illustration for you because I don't have long. I'm really excited because I'm talking about giving and I want to put a new perspective on giving because most of the time we talk about giving of tithes, giving our money and things like that. And uh, so I'm, I'm, I want to encourage you for giving. Evangelism is necessary for our own growth. So I don't know what that means to you, but I'm going to tell you what it means to me. So I want to talk from the text of Philemon, chapter 1, verse 6. It says, I pray that the sharing of your faith may become effective for the full knowledge of every good thing that is in us for the sake of Christ. So giving. Well, I'm not going to read the majority of this, but I want to get down to it. What is evangelism? Evangelism is the strategic preaching, teaching, and living the gospel in a way that inspires people to be converted into disciples of Jesus. So, what does that mean? What does that look like in 2016? Well, this is somebody that maybe has never heard who Jesus is. It's empty. A lot of people look at it. A lot of people see it and they don't say a word. Is that you? Is that me? It's probably all of us. So, how is it possible for us to share what God has given to us through the Bible, through our testimony, through our lives? Is it possible? Is it possible for you to share a little bit of yourself? Or what Jesus did to, to mend that brokenness in your heart. Well, I want to use this as an illustration. This is God. He's way bigger than this, but this is what's going to work for the night. So, if you and I share the gospel, right? And it, it can be very, very simple. I think a lot of people overthink it and they start to think, oh, I don't know what scripture to read. I don't know all the words. I don't know how to be confident. I don't know how to be bold. I don't know how to be zealous. There's all these different things that we're, we're so afraid of. I mean, come on. If somebody's walking over a cliff and dies, you're going to say, oh, my pride. I'm so sorry. You're going to be all right. Because that's what you do when you don't share Christ. Watch yourself. Really? That's what you do. You see someone heading for disaster and you let them go. You see someone running towards fire and you don't tell them, baby, that's not the right way to go. You know in those movies when the person always runs towards danger? And I'm going to leave that one there. So this is God, right? And he deposits in us all the things that we've been through all the things that we've come through in order to give to that person. To this person over here, you're not that far away. But if God gave you this, right, why don't you just give him something? Just give him a little bit. If you've got the best gift you've ever gotten in your life and you're not sharing it, maybe you don't got it. Mm -hmm. wow. Really? She got all this goodness over here. You got the joy. You got the healing. Everything my brother has been already talking about. Everything the pastor, beautiful heart, everything she was talking about. But you want to keep it to yourself. Watch How about I give you one more? That's for the young girl that got raped. This is for the young man that thinks he's never going to be as good as his father. This is for the little girl that never had her father. This is for the mom that's alone by herself or her kids and can't feed them. This is for me. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Oh, don't worry. Somebody gonna pick it up, see me, won't share. <laughs> <laughs> see, you don't, let, you don't let that fall and just be out there by itself. <laughs> we got all of this. We made it to 2016, the last day before you get to 2017. You can't. You can't. You can't hold it to yourself anymore. We don't have time for that. We got President-elect, Donald Trump, that's gonna be our president. So you don't think there's gonna be some struggling people out there next year? You don't think we're gonna be struggling next year? You don't think? Have we sat and thought about it? 
What can I give? Well, I can give some of my love, because I know somebody that doesn't have as much. I can give all them clothes that's in my closet. I know I got one jacket I can give to somebody. Out of all them shoes and sneakers and all that stuff, I'm not a big sneaker fan, but if you got a lot of them, you can give somebody a pair of sneakers. You got that food from Whole Foods or from Trader Joe's or, I mean, I don't know, maybe you can spend money on, uh, well, you got it from somewhere. You got it. What about the person that has nothing? You can give them some. And then you see all of this? This person has gotten seeds that have been planted into their lives. And somebody thought it was not robbery to give them some of their love, some of their time, some of their, you, you spend time on the phone with people that need you. Hmm. You just walk around the town and say, oh, that person is homeless. Maybe I could just give them or offer them something. Can I pray for you? Can I be there for you? That's evangelism. Yeah. You are evangelism. And if you don't spend the time to share what God has given you, there's no point. So, don't let God rebuke you. Don't let God convict you. Don't let God leave you in silence. Because sometimes your bold words is exactly what that person needs so they can get out of the darkness.